call to order the February 23rd, 2015 meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board. Well, we've got a full agenda this evening. Um, if we do have a special permit on the docket tonight, posted for 7 o'clock p.m., uh, there's another agenda item for 7.05 uh, with uh, Andrew Flanning and the Deputy Town Managers here to present us with some items. And if the special permit applicant does not have any objection, I'd like to have uh, them step back for about five minutes to give the town an opportunity. All right, Andrew? Can you come Great, on? thank you. Thank you for um, having me tonight. What I hope to do was talk a little bit about how <coughs> capital improvement projects um, at the three buildings that are contained in the Urban Renewal Fund and under the authority of the, uh, the board have been funded um, over really the past 30 years and where we are today and why I think is a reason that uh, we sort of shift in how we finance some of these projects. So um, for those of you who are familiar with our Town meeting, you know the Capital Planning Committee uh, puts out a report uh, every year. They've been doing so uh, since 1986, uh, shortly after when the Urban Renewal Fund was created. Um, and really the financing of all capital projects across the town are uh, put into three categories. So items that are funded by cash, um, under, uh, items and projects that are funded through general fund borrowing, and then a category that is other. So <clears throat> the other projects, water and sewer projects that are funded through the Enterprise Fund, the Recreation Enterprise Fund, and then improvements to um, the Central School, 23 Maple Street, and the Jefferson Carter House. Uh, while not an Enterprise Fund by law, it operates very, very similarly in that the revenue generated from those properties uh, is used to offset the expenses. Um, so a lot of uh, the work that's been done um, over the past 30 years has been small in order in terms of magnitude, uh, bathroom improvements, um, exterior improvements. But now we're about 30 years in uh, since money's really been sunk into the buildings and we've seen the projects um, becoming uh, much larger in scale. Uh, so the three that really are included in this plan, um, or this is last year's plan, but in the plan that we presented to uh, <coughs> um, town meeting, uh, in April, uh, include uh, the second phase of funding while the work has been started uh, to pave or uh, rebrick um, the driveway around the Central School, um, the replacement uh, of the front porches at 23 Maple Street, uh, which have some historical significance. I don't know if you want to uh, add some context to Carol. And then lastly, uh, the roof of the Jefferson Carter House, which obviously is much more yeah. expensive than replacing a roof um, <coughs> at a you know, house of a similar size in a neighborhood. Um, so one thing uh, we realized is that unlike pre previous projects, we can't pay for it in cash. The fund just doesn't have a balance, and it would clean it out. Um, mm -hmm. So what I recommended to the town manager and the capital planning committee is that through our general fund borrowing, we borrow funds for these projects, and then pay the debt service uh, associated with those projects from the fund. So in year one, that would be 20000 and its highest year would be about sixty. The fund is healthy enough to manage that, <coughs> um, and that is the direction that I think we should go in, uh, because I don't think any of the projects that I mentioned uh, can really wait. So, with that, Carolyn, what do you want to write there? That's about the size of it. Yeah. Um, we, it doesn't make sense to clean out the fund. Uh, we do have um, a good cash flow from 23 Maple Street. The 23 Maple Street and the Central School really kind of subsidize the Jefferson Cutter House, so we really would need um, to lean on the other buildings for uh, to pay the debt on the Jefferson Cutter House. Uh, and it is very important. It's a wood roof. Uh, we've had some water enter the building, not through the roof yet, but uh, we would. Uh, we've had some water enter the building through some, um, the gutters, um, so. We don't want that to happen with the roof. So it is very important. Um, we, all, all of this work is very important. The paving at the Central School is um, really overdue. The paving of the lot, uh, the site paving, the, the walkways. And 23 Maple Street is, we have to, as a municipality, kind of walk it like we talk it. It is in a historic district. Um, and it is historic. The building is historically significant. So we, because we have a historic district, we're in a historic district, we impose that on private property owners, we, we have to adhere to the same standards. So, it, and it would, it will be a good model for uh, historic district restoration. 
when 23 Maple Street is done. I think some of you probably recall that we put this out to bid uh, a couple of years ago and all the bids came back twice what we had budgeted. So that's why it's really important to try to get, get the funds, get, um, get, I think, get them done this way and get the work going. In the three projects collectively are about $400,000 total investment into the three properties. Over what period? I'm sorry, could, did you tell the board? Sure. So they're all, so we funded the first phase of the paving project last year. Second phase will be um, FY16, the roof of the Jefferson Cutter House will be FY16. And um, <clears throat> um, the porches will be in FY16. And why they're all kind of together is because um, they've even been delayed because we haven't had the funds. And now since we've agreed, uh, or at least thought about this approach, we can, we can do it uh, all at once. Um, so you had mentioned uh, that there's enough money in the fund to cover debt service, and is that just interest, or is that paying back the amount that's being borrowed? So in year one, it's generally just the interest, so that'll be about $20,000, um, and then interest and debt service combined at its highest year, it's about sixty. Okay. So it'll be both. And roughly how long does it take to repay the general fund? So what we'll do is, um, when we work with bond council before we go out to borrow, we'll look at what... Mm -hmm. You know, there's um, there's uh, regulations and uh, match general law that pertain to specific capital projects and uh, on what terms you can borrow for them. So we'll see where it fits. Okay. I mean, it's not going to be 30 to 20 years. It's probably going to be either between 7 and 12. Mm -hmm. right. um, <clears throat> so what has to happen from our perspective? I mean, I think, you know, we've, we've got the fund and that typically will just, you know, lay out the cash here. We'll ask town meeting to, as part of the capital planning committee, and then is it designated so you can do that with the bond? In fact, they probably want you to do that. Is show exactly where that money's going to come from for the debt service? Is that what right? So happen? what you'll see, and um, I should brought you a copy of it, but I can certainly provide it to um, Carol. You'll see in the capital planning committee's report. Uh, the capital planning committee rule is that we're uh, to be at five percent of revenues, roughly. The capital budget should be equal to that. Right. So what you'll see is basically what the total general fund cost of borrowing is, and then we'll reduce that to get within the 5% based on funds that come from other places. So in this case, we have money that comes from the ambulance revolving fund that pays that offsets the debt service for the cost of an ambulance um, from the rank that offsets debt service at the rank. And then you'll see um, a line that says um, our annual offset. Okay. So okay, that would be the funds coming in from basically a, a, ca a cash application to our total borrowing cost. Okay. So. And town meeting, uh, through its presentation in here, will essentially approve that. <clears throat> and that's okay within our ur urban renewal uh, plan for those buildings. We can do that with the funds. We can, we can serve as debt with it. I, to be perfectly candid, I haven't looked into it, but because the term of the urban renewal program to rehab the building has passed, I don't think you. It's I don't think there are any yeah. um, rules that we have to play by. Okay. Any HUD rules, but I'll do. Well, we check with the council, council, yeah, council on that. Definitely. Yeah. And yeah. it's similar. I mean, Sims was created as an urban renewal fund. We did a very similar thing to offset. The, That's true. Mm -hmm. the yeah. Offset That's the true. cost of that service there. Although we were thinking of it from the beginning on that one, I just want to make sure mm -hmm. that whatever. After yeah. The fact, yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. I guess I just want to make sure that we don't get tripped up. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm also, thank you. Great, thank you very much. Have a Thanks, great day. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Okay. Moving on, the uh, Environmental Design Review Special Permit has the uh, applicant to step forward and introduce themselves. Please. You should hear? Yeah, yeah right okay. Yeah. This is the first round. I'm, I'm Mark Noonan, um, managing member of Alouette Realty. It's my brother Peter Alouette, and this is Joseph Artley, who is our architect. You can give us a, an overview of what we're looking at here. Um, I think several things have been provided. Um, but the overview is that uh, we own a property at 248 Mass Ave. Uh, it is um, right beside on Mass Ave, very close to Orbis. It's zoned R6. Um, it is adjacent to two other properties that are R6. In fact, you know, there's a land, there's a streetscape that might be the best way to do this for more than you. And the land is page. There's one on Z3 Three. Or, um, that's the 
sheet that with the new sheet. The new the sheet. sheet. Okay. The top of the new yep. sheet. So at the bottom, uh, Joe uh, drew the existing sheets, Kate, and 248 is the small uh, branch, mm -hmm. and it sits in the, the other R6 properties of the Capitol Square project that's right next to it. Those two, there's actually three buildings right total, but those are the two on the street. And then uh, 254, 64. Uh, two, excuse me, 264. Uh, Orvis Road is to the left of 244. So the, uh, the proposed streetscape is right below it. And, you know, our meager vision was to uh, build something uh, that could be accommodated in the R6 zone uh, that would uh, actually kind of fill in the blank here with regard to how the streetscape looks. So it's a similar height. Um, the protrusion that you see in the back is actually a stairway uh, with the door <coughs> up at the top. Um, and uh, uh, it's in the back of the building. We actually don't think it's going to be viewable from the street. Uh, but this is this is basically the overview of the project in terms of how it looks. It's three stacked units, um, and the, the ground floor unit is the top floor. The top two are about the same size. The ground floor unit is a little bit less because we have one of the parking spots inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> and the parking. I mean, if should we go through sort of every element? Uh, we might as well. As well. Sure. Yeah. Please. Um, I guess. Uh, did you ever get any, uh, the the proposed plot plan from Cliff? No. No. Okay. All right. Well. Well, he's up in there. That that is the plot plan. Okay. Access one is, is the second page, and that shows the uh, the original. You know, the only differences between the original drawings and the, and the substitutes are I put some lighting in, and and I changed an error that I saw. But they're they're essentially the same. I I don't think you should sort of too confused by trying to go back and forth with them, but. The, uh, the second page, XS1, shows uh, the existing property, the existing survey from uh, 2003. And on the right-hand side, uh, delineates the, uh, the setbacks and the, the outline of the proposed building and where they fall relative to the setback requirements. The next page is sort of an overview of uh, the zoning issues going to use lot area, frontage floor area ratio, uh, lot coverage, lot area, those things. And, and uh, the use itself, um, allowable in, in the R6 zone is one and two family dwellings and uh, three family dwelling by special permit. So that's why we're here. Um, and also we're here because of the Mass Ave site, I presume. That's, that's, mm -hmm. the, that's sort of twofold. That, uh, both those elements sort of play into this. Um, everything is, is compliant with uh, the zoning requirements. Uh, where we were asking for relief is in the area of parking. Um, we have three units, and uh, according to the bylaw, two spaces per unit are required, and we have five. And what we're proposing is, is if you look on page Z03 that refers to the parking, we have <clears throat> four parking outside, one parking inside. We, the one parking inside will go to the first floor unit. The tandem parking, uh, the, the tandem parking spots will go to, it's pretty obvious, but they'll, they'll go to the second and third floor unit, unit two and three. And we've, we've got the turnaround re requirements there so that nobody has to back into the street. Um, While we're on that subject, can okay. you just sort of walk us through where the turnaround, I mean, how you envision the, uh, the, the drivers turning around? Well, we've got the, the 24 foot setback is, is delineated there. That's, that's part of the, the, the bylaw. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're, and we, we 
tuck the the uh, the building in in that respect too, so we get the 24 feet uh, up and down as well as side to side. Mm -hmm. So we envision that that uh, the cars will be backing up into that area, and then. Uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to say how this will happen. And then make sort of a three-point turn. It'll and be, be able a, to go uh, four It will be a three-point turn, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. And 24 feet is, is pretty generous. I mean, it's, but that's that's a bylaw, so that's sure. what we, 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 we wanted to do it according to uh, according to that. So like that's, that's, a what, little on the drive that's what drove it. What's that? And the size of the car. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So if we go back, and, and actually the rationale, and, and this is the 01 page, the rationale um, for the FAR that we're proposing is given in note one. We are asking, uh, we're, not, we're allowed uh, sort of bonus provisions in the bylaw. One has to do with uh, providing extra open space on the lot, usable open space. Or any kind of open space, actually. And uh, the second one is uh, an allowance of 5% for uh, large dwelling units. So we're taking advantage of those two items, and, and uh, so we're uh, allowable a, uh, where is this? We're allowed 6,700 square feet of uh, gross floor area, and we're proposing 6,628. So we're, we're less than, than uh, we're allowed. And uh, note two just addresses the, uh, the parking that we talked about. And there are provisions in, in, the, in the bylaw that, that, uh, whereby the ARB may grant a reduction. I think that's that section 8.12 mm -hmm. A, 80%. And you know, the location is on Mass Ave. It's, uh, it's on the bus routes, uh, you know, there's um, ample ability to walk to a lot of uh, convenience, you know, opportunities, whether it be shopping or, mm -hmm. or, or dining. Um, and, you know, we're reasonably comfortable that not everybody who wants to live here is going to need to have two vehicles. In fact, it's very possible, although not something we would predict, that you could have three units occupied where there's just one vehicle, but we don't know that. Know this. And our page uh, Z02 is sort of a synopsis of, of uh, the gross floor area calculations and how those were, were derived. I could go back to the parking for just a second, though. I, uh, I don't know if you uh, know if your plan is for to rent these as apartments or uh, develop this as a condominium. Will the parking spaces be actually assigned to the units, and is there a way to make sure that there aren't additional cars being parked in the turnaround area that would make it uh, difficult to, for people to maneuver out of them. Well, the intention is to make them condominiums. They will be assigned. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then the trustees presumably would have the ability to police on additional cars that, that might be totally yeah, parked they, there. They're going to need to be self-policed. I really don't yeah. see any place for additional cars, to yeah. be honest. Mm -hmm. and, and perhaps when those documents are drawn up, that will have to be made quite clear. Okay. And there would be, uh, Oh, um, yes. Uh, what materials are the, uh, will the building be constructed of? It's going to be a wood frame, you know, engineered wood. And uh, I mean, it's a pretty simple actually, frame. Mm -hmm. um, the exterior is going to be uh, a cladding of uh, fiber cement, proposing something called Nishiha. Which is a it's a, it's like a panelized system, okay. which is offset from the uh, you have the exterior sheathing, you put a vapor barrier on top of it, 
and uh, that's your rain screen. You have, so this is a rain screen uh, construction for the exterior, and so that anything, any moisture that gets in there will drain out. Um, and the, the, the product itself is, is uh, very durable, holds paint for a long time, and, and I propose for this to be painted. You, you can see it, it's kind of a monochromatic um, look, but I, and that's what I was looking for. It's got corner elements that they're going to you know, read as, I see it like corner boards, and, and I, I wanted a subtle change from the bottom to the top and actually three different colors. Oh, okay. And you can kind of see it. There's a bigger one here too. On the yeah. Is it <clears throat> Joseph, would you mind spelling the name of the material, please? Nishiha. I have a handout. Okay, so Joe, what would the, the color scheme be? Would it be has shown here on AO3, or is, it, is that just uh, black and white of what your actual color choice is? No, are? I mean, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards a gray. Mm -hmm. I really am leaning towards a gray. But different sh shades of gray. Different shades of gray. Okay. And and the reason this is kind of a contemporary material. Mm -hmm. um, but my my concern is that I I'd like it to have a contemporary look, but I don't want it to be embarrassing to the owners or maybe five years down the road. I think it's a I think it's a good looking building, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's restrained, but uh, actually kind of. Uh, I don't like using modern, but contemporary. But contemporary, but you also want to sort of break up the uniformity of the uh, of, of the appearance with the, the different shading. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. okay. Um, I did have one other concern, mm -hmm. and I understand that a penthouse is allowed as an exception with respect to height, um, <coughs> but it is going above the profile, the, the height of the, that you see on the street profile. Um, and it would be, if you compare it to the Capitol Square buildings and the building at 264, it would be the only building that doesn't have a parapet. Um, any thought that you might put something on the front of the building that would partially screen the penthouse, also screen the mechanics that are going to be on the top, and you could use it as a, uh, the enclosure if you develop a, a roof deck or garden that is mentioned in the application. Yeah, the only drawback to that, I and mean, one thing that, I mean, one, one element that, that I have in the drawing that sort of ties everything together, is I wanted to have a broad overhang, sort of a, not deep, but mm -hmm. I wanted it out, you know, pretty substantial. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's why I did that. I mean, that, that sort of, to, to put a parapet up there is, is sort of counter to that. I'm not too, too concerned. I would prefer not to. I mean, that, that's mm -hmm. that's the truth. I would prefer not to, because I think, uh, especially when you're when you're down there. I mean, this is this is going to be up 30 feet, and it's. Uh, I think no matter where you are, um, walking down the street, maybe on the other side of the street, but even so, a lot of what you see up there is going to be obscured. I don't think you're going to see any mechanical space or any mechanical equipment. You may see a vestige of, of the roof of the of the stairwell. Um, mm -hmm. You'll definitely see it from the side. I mean, that's, sure. that's, that's something that can't be avoided. Um, but I think it's actually, I mean, I, I, I like it as an element. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you window it um, and sort of make it sort of fit in with the rest of it. Yeah. And I think that it's, even though it's not the main entrance, it's, it's, the, it's the stairwell that's closest to the parking. And I mm -hmm. think it's going to get a lot of use. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, so it, it's got windows on, on two sides. Um, and so it's, it's going to be a pretty so light it's, it's your It's your church tower type of element to the... Well, I mean, you know, I wouldn't call it my spire. Yeah. No, not exactly. My, my lantern. Uh, no. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't want to overdo it, but I mean, you need a roof access. And I didn't want to minimize it. I didn't want to make it utilitarian, how, how it can sometimes yeah, be. Yeah, sure, it, sure, where it looks like it's just yeah. a, a... Well, that's a, all it is. A, I mean, a shed it's, from... 
And, and it, there is, I mean, we, we've talked about this, the roof deck stuff. I mean, we haven't, uh, you know, we think it's a natural, but we just haven't sort of explored Come to the conclusion. And, and if anything, it's, it's just going to be back there. You know, at the back side. That's where. That's where it's nice. I mean, the, there's neighbors' trees back there. Isn't it about 50 feet back from the front facade? At least. That was actually more my question. Is, is I actually like the look of the nice, clean lines. And the yeah. only question I have is, if you decide to, I mean, you've got the door right here. There's certain to be a roof deck. You know, I think the one thing that might detract from it is if you could see kind of like a some kind of final fence around there to protect or something like that. I almost mm -hmm. get more concerned about that than I do like breaking up the, the simplicity of it. But, but you but you're saying that if there was a if there was a roof deck it'd be back on this side. So once again from the streetscape you wouldn't be able to I mean, we, we have a, a roof plan. Yeah where's the roof that's over an AO2. I mean, it's not fleshed out or anything, but yeah. it's just sure the set right of the roof mm -hmm. and where the uh, where the stairwell, stairwell penetrates it. And uh, that's, I mean, the, we probably expect something towards the rear if there's going to be any kind of space up there. The stairway would. The, the, this, this the way it is would would accommodate something much easier than a hatch type of situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah. That, yeah. So that, no, that is what we you know had in mind. But I'm not sure if it's a it's an amenity that's going to get that used use that much or so yeah. maybe a roof garden. Or something. I don't know. And if you build it, they will come. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yep. Where that arrow is. Okay, that's where the tree is now. It kind of sits right there. Okay. So we've actually it's done a lot of that in the past, and uh, oh, over here. sometimes it works. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It was really nice, but some of the bigger ones on the other side of the property is kind of choked it out. Yeah. Our tree guys are down there. It's a it's a mature, mature tree now. It's right. mature, so it's but it's okay. it's very nice. Yeah. Minor in color. Still, so if we can do that, it'll sort of dictate a little bit what happens yeah. in the backyard. Um, but I think we probably still are going to need to know a little bit about what's going on in the front in the planting beds. Just you know. With what you propose there. I, I understand the back is uh, ground cover with Pacassandra and lawn. Um, yeah, I think I look at the, the new zeal for. Okay. If you could. Well, uh, I think it's got to be the new zeal. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what I'm sorry. You'll, you'll see in the materials. When it talks about planting, do, a, a mixture of azalea, compact rhododendron, compact okay. holly, boxwood. Okay. Um, Pacassandra in the south and west corner of the property. Relocate the existing red maple. Um, to and Sherry, I mean, where's the Okay. I mean, I think that's the idea. I mean, because yeah. none of these is, is, is too deep. Yeah. I mean, this is this is only, this is less than two feet. It's sort of a strip there. Mm -hmm. And this might be three and a half feet, and this only two and a half feet. Okay. So, I mean, we really have, you know, sort of, I mean, what we're dealing with is this. So, what we need to do is, is get plants that will take that. Okay. And, and against this wall, we'd like to have the, the tall ones, maybe the prunus, you know, the, the dwarf prunus, that, that will maybe grow a little taller. We've got to keep a little low right here. Can you get um, trees in that, in that front area? I don't mm -hmm. believe so. Could you? Why not? I mean, just like if you put a street tree in, you only need a certain amount of room. That's true. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking about the walkway, and, and when it's when a tree is young, it kind of interferes with how you walk. Right. And there's one thing; uh, it just doesn't seem like it's wide enough. I mean, there's a grass strip in front of it. That's a different story. It'd be nice to have something so there's some scale in front. Of Why do you have a walk there? Well, that's part of the. Uh, the part. We, we designed this so the parking was pretty much over here for the. Oh, office. and you don't have to go and onto then, the sidewalk. Well, yeah, no. This is also a walk. This is a this is a walkway, so that the grade rises up here, so that it meets. That it meets the entryway. Because this is this is an accessible entry. Because it's sloped, sloped up. It's sloped up. Yes. Yeah. But isn't that a dead end? You got a planting bed right there. So. Oh, you okay, so I'll come down here, but I'm still coming out here and going over there. Yeah, it seems to dead end. Yeah, it's dead end. I don't. I guess I just oh, don't you're not. You're going to the main entrance there. This is the main entrance. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's the main entrance. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. 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 This isn't sloped. This is sloped. No. Well, they're, they're both sloped. This is sloped too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the main entrance. So that's the side entrance. Okay. Just like the parking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are actually five five entrances oh, to the first front. floor. I got gotcha. you. Okay. okay, so it comes over here. Got it. Okay. I mean, to get something with some scale in here it would seem like it be, might be nice, and it's just a garage here. Now, when you say scale, you're talking about high in the very yeah, front. Yeah, higher. But it, okay. it's just and bushes. It, does a, it doesn't look that much different because it's. No, I know. Good. I know. But I'm just saying it wouldn't block anybody's view. Oh, so, I see. That's true. It just could be nice because you have nice simple. Um, Materials and then you get some green in front. It could be a nice way to. Not much light there, though. Northern, northern exposure, right? Maybe a little northeast. Maybe you could figure out something. How high do these get? The ones that you're proposing, or is they just bushes? I would uh, just something short of everything. Get something a little more interesting. What's on the grass strip now, Peter? On the other side of the sidewalk. Anything? One good sized tree, telephone pole. Yeah. Small scale tree, you know, little. Yeah, yeah like thing. a Japanese maple or something. Yeah, well, something I mean, that, the thing about the small scale, scale is it, it's when, when they, when they, they grow over, they're going to be growing over the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, I mean, we kind of need we kind of need bushes that do this. Boxwood or something that you can. I mean, 
frame sideways. Mm -hmm. Right against the wall, we could, you know, if anything the light isn't great. You think the box would care what you got? Yeah, right now there's nothing. Once it got you know, um, a couple years on it, the branches know, would be above, saying. wouldn't they be above? I mean, above. I, any tree in the first couple of years, the, you're going to have some branching out where you don't want it, but then yeah. it gets a little higher, and then forever you've got it, the, the canopy okay. and the... There's some light little tree, small trees that don't get in the way. That, that could be really nice, because you have such a simple, this modern look, and to have it offset by something kind of... No, I agree. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. I just think, I mean, just realistically, I'm not sure that, that uh, you know, I mean... Ten feet is, is what we have. You know, mm -hmm. So the ten feet to the sidewalk, ten and a half feet. And that's well say that's from here to there. Mm -hmm. And we have this much and we have a, a four foot Quarter. we have a four foot quarter. Yeah. Quarter. So you know, I mean conceivably, is there something there? Maybe. I mean I, I do have a tree in front of my house that's Do we need to walk? Yeah. Okay. So, for ADA uh, compliance? Or it's just uh, accessibility. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. if we didn't have the walk, then we could create a little scale. Well, you know, I mean, technically, we can work with that. Technically, the unit at the back has a side entrance. Mm -hmm. And well, we have a side that qualifies as. as yeah, that, that compliance. And we have qualifies as compliance. Yeah. And we have a side right now. So, so that's, uh, you know, they're like just beautiful little I know, I got miniature one. trees. I and I just get, they're so, they're so nice. I, I don't, don't take a lot of room at all. That's what I was You can fit them right in where. Oh, well, what kind? Yeah. Just tell us. What kind are they? I don't know. <laughs> Well, I, well, I, I know. We've lost the landscape I, I member of our group. <laughs> but if you let me go, I can find out and come back and tell you. I can call or, or you, or we can call you. All right, I mean, that, like I said, we're not, we're definitely not opposed to it. And, uh, they're nice. They're not inexpensive. It's a Japanese, yeah. it's, a, it's like a Japanese maple. And, I, and I've got one well, six feet of snow on it right now. <laughs> but they're very nice, and you're right, they, they're, they're sort of waves. You know, they don't grow really wide. No. We'll get back to you with a couple of things. You know, well, yeah. you know, that, that's okay. I mean, as a matter of fact, I mean, you're right. If that whole place were, if that were all planted in the front, I mean, I'm sort of rethinking the walk thing. Mm -hmm. The walk thing to me was like, okay, I, this unit one is accessible from both ends. However you want to get into it, you can get into it. If you want it, you want to get in the front, you go in the front. You want to go in the side, you go in the side. You want to go into the garage, you can do that too. But yeah, but I think, you know, since the if garage we, If we have space, one way to get there. Oh, I see, there's a step right yeah, you need the garage. No, I know you need to walk. Okay. Well, if we have the walk at the side right as opposed to the one to the front, where are you saying? Right down at the at the top of drawing Z04, yeah. that sloped walkway for unit one that yeah, takes you back in. Park the here, you you have to go out on the street to get back. To no, 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 the uh, the sidewalk. Yeah, the sidewalk. So no, no, no. I mean, if we have to have something inside there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If your if own. somebody if somebody right. no, I get it. Needs that's it. What I'm saying you need it. All right. Because it's an ADA requirement to have. Okay, so then we should just fo we should focus on what we can put on the strip, on uh, in that area. We will. Call your guy. You got a guy, right? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, our key, our key guy unfortunately passed away a year ago, but uh, just to do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, one other thing, uh, two other things. Yeah, okay. First is lead checklist and narrative, um, which we require as an EDR uh, element. Um, so that needs to be added to the plan, uh, to the application. And I have a couple of technical things, Joe, just for your, um, on your plan. And I may not just 
be reading it right, but on AO1 and AO2, you're not showing doors into your master into bedroom two or to the master bath. So that's really not within the board's purview. They'll be coming through the window. We, we hear uh, about the exterior of the building, but you know, that's just, yeah. but that's you know for your next. Uh, <laughs> Right. You know how many of these we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as long as you don't sure, build it like that. I'm sure the plan is to have it. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Right. You do a lot of these. Um, no, just this design. We worked on this for a long time. Yeah. No, I'm trying to just this one. Yeah, yeah just mm -hmm. this one. Could you run forward that? I don't think we did. Did we check this? Yeah. I didn't see it. No? Oh, so so there is one. Uh, okay. I, 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 you know, I took this. This is this is uh, lead version for uh, new construction, major renovation. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a million of them, but uh, this one corresponded. I, I, I found one for multifamily, mid-rise and multifamily, and then I couldn't find it again. Okay. Uh, and this one looked the same as as that one. So, this checklist. Is, this narrative is sort of based upon that. Okay. And I'm sorry you didn't get it. Um, well, it's good that you did it. And we'll, um, do you need one? Do you need to keep one? No, okay. I get, <laughs> All right, it's okay. on the computer. I can make as many as you want. Okay. I can um, distribute it to the board. I can scan it if you want. All right. Sure. Yeah, we touched on one. Great. Because there was initial, um, well, Carol did this initial review, right, and and we took that, um, and and that's that's what generated the sort of some of the additional pages that we did. One thing addressed lighting. Yep. Um, another one was was we fleshed out the, the landscaping a little bit more. Okay. The lead narrative was was part of what what we prepared. And uh, there's one other thing. What was it? Um, oh, drainage and water management. Water management. That, that's why I don't remember because it's not my, it's not my purview. Yeah. Okay. I do have cut sheets on the lights. Oh. I apologize. I thought I got that sheet. Do the cut sheet yes. Yeah. I have that. Yeah. You can um, scan these oh. and distribute these to the boards as well. To the board as well. But I'll pass them around so you can take a look. Get that back to me, and I'll after you distribute it. Thank you. Because the lighting is shown on, on the landscape plan. You know, they're just little elements that are that are off to the side. They're 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 shown on the first floor. They're little things that are sticking right out the sides. No, no, no. That one are the ones that look over the, the parking. And then there might be a sheet under. The cylinders are outside of the unit entry doors. And doors are going up to the deck. Yeah, see there, they sit there. Yeah, yeah. You can see right there. And there are the other ones. Here. Yeah. And there's the side of the cylinders over. Oh, the cylinders in the balcony. Oh, on each balcony. So, uh, yeah. Version. See the reach balcony is the same. A cylinder. A cylinder. Okay. Yep. Cylinder. That's in. And then these are your other ones. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. That's that's an old one. This is a new one, and and you guys can share and look at the new one. Okay. They're all full cut up. Yes. C-K-O-W-A-L-S-K-I. I got it. Yeah. I'm actually good doing that. Oh, I just don't go. 
So the what's the fence that that um, separates the parking from the backyard? What, what's it made of? I mean, the same fence as the perimeter fence. It's um. Oh, here it is. Fence drops down to four inches at this point. Four feet. No, that's not it. Yeah, the perimeter fence and the recycling and trash enclosure is uh, a six foot tall cedar board fence with a lattice top. That's on page Z04. Got a little gate. Oh, okay. So it's down at the very so bottom. Kind of the yeah. is a wall. Oh, I see. And then you get that. And what does it look like? Does it have a. It's six foot tall that has a, a little trellis at the top? Yes. Yeah. That goes all the way around the whole thing. Yes, uh, it goes around, it stops short on the northerly side. I see, yeah. It's six yeah, feet sorry. high, six feet high all the way around with yep. the trellis. Oh, how does that look? Can you draw that? Yeah, yeah, sure. it, is it like a low part and a high part? I think I know what it is, but it just remind me of that. Well, uh, between the two poles, it's usually six foot, and then... Uh, you got the vertical boards here, right? Mm -hmm. And then the cross pieces here, and then cross uh, diamond or diamond. Or, yeah, yeah, actually diamond's better. So it gives you a little more light, a little yes, scale to the fence. It's, it gives you privacy, but it's, it's yeah, a little it's more open. That's nice. Yeah. Unpainted or natural or what's your? Oh. <laughs> no wrong answer, I think. Yeah. If you give me a bite of your apple, <laughs> I'll let you I'll let you hold me. Cedar <laughs> probably. I haven't thought about it. Man. I mean, they are cedar. Yeah. So, uh, could go either way. If you let them win themselves, they win better. To yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll turn gray, you'll match the yeah. building. And uh, now, who can go in the back? Is that just private for the patio for unit one, or is it everybody? I'm just curious. We've actually debated that question. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, we, we think that at the moment it's probably everybody, but that uh, that its utility will be a unit one. Because you have to have another entry. I mean, these people are the very just going right next to there. Well, they yeah. could come down the back stairs and, and go through the little. Oh room. yeah, <laughs> yeah, back here. Is is uh, this is here. Here. Yeah, right, right here, right next to somebody's living room. Right here, every time. You put it, uh, well, and also every time you put out the trash, you'll get your bike. <laughs> You're right next to this guy. But the patio's here, and that's really dedicated to you. So um, now the. the could you point to the material in there? No, is it on the cover? It is on the cover. Okay. That's that's one. This is this is actually okay. a, a building in Cambridge. Okay. And that's it. That's the material. That's the material. Yeah. It, it's a foot and a half by six foot module. So there'll be verticals in this thing. There are verticals, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is kind of a running bond, or are they just not running bond? Random. They'll be uh, stacked. Oh, they're stacked. There's a solid color. There's one that's solid. Yeah, we wouldn't check it more than that. Okay, so it's stacked like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is it this? This is it. This is there's no corner detail or any kind of. Special it's just, corner detail. In other words, it's all flush like that. There's no. This no, one would have. A this, this, there is a corner detail. There's a corner piece. Yeah. That goes in there, and that's the one that I want to have slightly different color too. Where, where, uh, where is that in that picture? Right on the scene. It, it's right on the scene. It's there. Is it? It because is. It's the fold of this thing. It's about yeah. three. It's three inches. Oh, it's a little three inch. Yes, it's three inches. But does it stand proud of the material? No, it's flush with it. That's only on one side. Right, that's on a butt joint. It's, you're saying it wraps the corner. Yes. So it's a three inch. It's a three inch angle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an angle. Oh, it, but it, okay. Yeah. It's an outer angle. Mm -hmm. And you want to use that where did you say? On the corners. 
anywhere, any, anywhere else. Oh, just just around all the corners. Where was the corners? Just that little so it looks good. It's just that strip. Okay. You like okay. it? Oh yeah, so we have to have it. It's part of the. And uh, talking with them, th this is not. Like this doesn't use them. And talking with the rep, they said they they're not recommending that anymore. Why? That they should be used. That they they just I don't know why. The corners aren't used anymore. No, no. The yeah. not corners. Oh, yeah. people yeah. might are so yeah. going flush. Yeah, we're, we're doing something different. I see. Hmm. And then the colors are. Are you going to show us the the color actual colors, or can we get a hold of those from you? The colors are up to me. They're paint colors. They're not. Uh, because it would be good to get the colors to us. We usually get to see the material. That one of the things we see is the actual material, or I mean, this is good to see a picture of it, but since mm -hmm. there's no color range here, it would be um, great to see that. It's, there's, no, there's no horizontal in your mind, like this one. There is. Yeah, there is. So that's on here. That's well, it's a different shade. It's a different with three no, no, shades. No, no, there's no bands. He's got no, no bands. No, there's no band. No yeah. band. No band here. There isn't. You, can you see how they have the white band? Yep, yep. You're not doing it. I think there actually has to be something like that. Oh, that does. oh really? Yeah, for okay. a change. So there's a band in there. Yep. If you can, if you so color you can you give them right? any Benjamin Moore. You can give them any Benjamin Moore. No, no, no. It's it's oh, okay. that, you know, for a certain It's in like, like within the 20 feet or something. Okay. Something like that. Just so that the board has its own kind of a designated member of the board mm -hmm. could look at it. Expansion. Mm -hmm. but the horizontal up and down. Does it? Yeah. They, they need an expansion to it every now and again. Okay. I read up quite a bit on it. It's, you can pick any color. You can give them a Benjamin Moore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Palette type of thing. Uh -huh. Or uh, chip, uh, whatever, yeah. Recipe, uh, recipe, what do you call it? Formula. Formula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or Cheryl Williams. Yeah. And, uh, I think when they, they, they do them, they color and all the time. Oh, no. No. Really? That's the way I read it. No. Is that on the back? Is that the. Is that it? That's the system. It's made out of what again? Cement fiber. Fiber cement. Yeah. What are you doing to my budget like this? <laughs> <laughs> and you can get it in stone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The building in um, Cambridge, North Cambridge, that uh, you saw that Joe did that you liked, is that, does that have this material? No. That's a stuck one. Okay. All right. The, the no. one, that's when I first met you, that one. Yeah, Brookford Street? Brookford Street. Yeah. I thought if it was uh, uh, the same material, the board might have a chance to walk uh, drive by. And what's the cornice made out of? In the overhang? Yeah. yeah. Probably something that I mean painted something compatible. Yeah, probably uh maybe not, but it probably would be wood. Could be. Yeah. And the ceiling of it when you look up. In the soffit and the face and the face. Mm -hmm. And the windows and the window um, the windows are painted, are they wood or are they what are the clad. They'll be clad. They'll be clad mm -hmm. and okay. and uh, painted clad, but then painted a color, right? It looks like you've got them a darker color as contrasting. The, 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 the I was going to go with black. They look like the same color as the uh, as the. Uh, Cornice, I mean, uh, overhang. Out of all the colors you've talked about, Joe, I think that black sounds pretty good. Why <laughs> <laughs> hey, that soften up top? Actually, yeah, I mean, square. Oh, are you talking about the 
the bottom part of the overhang that you were describing earlier. Is this that, that going to get wet? Is it going to get wet? Yeah. Is it? Is it? No. Underneath it. Yeah. I was just noticing when you guys pointed out the roof plan that you got a this guy might be pushed in a little bit so he's not falling down. Not pushing down on your over. Your, um, Right. Yeah. Just to, I'm sure. Oh, the, the condensers? Yeah, just so you don't see them and they get yeah. uh, pushed down on your overhang. Unless that's not the overhang. Yeah, it is. No, it is. But that's, that's something I'm sure you can just shift them. Yeah. They're not dimensioned there, yeah. Okay, except for get, I agree getting into the bedroom would be important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, that's it's all a, I got. That's a three bedroom, but you can only actually. Yeah, it's, 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 it was a mystery. Yeah. So I just think that the landscape would be nice to have something. It's such a distinctive building that you're proposing. It's very contrasting. And it's a town of trees and kind of soft. It'd be nice to put something. I'm not saying put something standard. In fact, put something interesting there, like, I don't know, Japanese something. Or a, a small cluster flowering of bir tree, like really small birches. Yeah, sourwood. Yeah. Yeah. Something that really or off service berry, yeah. a tree um, specimen of service berry, maybe, because those stay pretty small. Yeah. You could go with a, a, the um, tall shrub type of service berry, or just a single trunk service berry tree. Possibly. Service berry. Uh, also known as, I've got three other names, and I, I can get you the names. Huh. Because okay. I think they might be more common yeah, I've than. I've never heard that. Uh, or if it's, you know, there's something original, like you have a trellis with vines on it or something, and it's a little. Mm -hmm. I just like the, I like the plantings. Mm -hmm. so it's something. Mm -hmm. It's a little. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, so we can espalier something on there, but yeah, something's got to, whatever you do has got to get light. Oh, and a lank here. You saved a lot of money great. on the exterior, so you have a little more landscape money, I can tell. <laughs> it's a signature oh, building. Yeah, everybody <laughs> wants it. <in> my <laughs> but I, you know, I, I think what Andy is saying is, you know, I mean, I and I like the the the, the look of the building. I, I, I like the contemporary look and the flat roof and all those elements that are kind of, um, you know, it's I would say non ornamental, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. But here's a chance to add a little, you know. Uh, Spark to just oh, the, I would the like way that. I mean, it'd, it'd be nice to have some color and some yeah. springtime color if it were feasible and possible. Yes, that would be um, awesome. I think that would color, be great. Yeah, that would be great. The seasons. Could be. The and other thing is just the uh, color palette that we have a chance, and maybe it's part of the condition or something, to get a look at the colors as you choose them. No problem with that. Mm -hmm. we, usually get, we usually get a pallet of materials, in either yeah. images or actual, that we can take a, a look at. Uh -huh. We're taking you off the case on the plantings, Joe. I've got to. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just a bunny locust. That's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> His favorite plant. We don't know. That's an inside joke. Yeah, exactly. Mike's favorite plant. I really like Andrew's idea, though. You got me going on this. I think you're absolutely right. You want you want something that's going to provide a little bit of scale, but you can also see through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, Later. And yes. And, and I know. I know. I have. I have a good sense. You should leave now. While you're ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. I didn't have anything further. So, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I was going to say so. We've got to figure out how to how to phrase the phrase. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, I think that you know my, my sense is we're pretty happy with what we're seeing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think there are a couple of things that that we would, would still like to see come in um, and. I suppose we can do one of two things. We could continue it and actually see those things, or we could um, grant the special permit subject to conditions that we would still have to review things. I think our commitment yeah. to that, uh, uh, we've had a sincere and long commitment to this, and we want it to be as, as good as you want, that's for sure. So. Mm -hmm.
you know, I, I like the that. conditions approach as long as you don't think there are too many that you've got to do. Because we still have we still have this winter that might never end again. <laughs> 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 Unless it's spring. <laughs> it's it's right. Right. right, and we can not uh, name only. You know, I, I, I hear a, a good authority that it's going to stop snowing. <laughs> <laughs> That you're yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, I certainly, conditions we can knock off well before. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. It has to be before we do anything. Well, yeah. well, let's think out loud yeah. here and just okay. think about what the special conditions would be. So, I think we still have to see the, the drainage and water management plan that's reviewed and approved by the town engineer. Um, I understand we do have a lead checklist, but I suppose we should just take a, a look at that before we you know, haven't had any chance to review it. Um, whether or not we're actually looking for a landscaping plan at this point, I'm not so sure, but we'd like to have keep open the idea that we're, we're there's some sort of dialogue about what type of landscaping will be at the, on the front side of the building. I would say a, re a revised landscape plan to be reviewed by, by staff. By staff. At, at that point, they can alert somebody, Carol. Mm -hmm. and, sure. So that you just have the obligation to come back and say what's what's the idea. Okay. I'm sorry. That last part. You you want that to come back to the full board? No. Just okay. to the. You, they have the obligation to come back to you. Okay. You have the choice of bringing of alerting. I guess Andrew mm -hmm. okay. that you received it and do you think it's. In the spirit of what we're asking, sure. The revised landscape plan to be reviewed by staff. Should the lead checklist also be reviewed by staff? Or? Yes. Yeah. 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 And then what was the? Uh, well, actually, that's pretty. Oh, well and then the color palette. Mm -hmm. And sample building material. Or yeah. Review? Okay. And, and or, I mean, if you have a really good photograph of how it works, but. Be, Ideally, actual sample would be great. I'll see we can get a board. At least it's not 50 shades. Okay. Yeah, 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 let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Three shades of green. Uh, that's that's all we can handle. More than enough. More than enough. <laughs> Don't get me going. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And we've got the, the the lighting. That seems to be fine. Yeah. I think that was yeah. 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 Okay. Um, well, you think you're. What about the lead checklist? How, how are we going to address that? Okay, so I, I have forwarded that to Carol. Yeah, and then okay. she's going to review it on behalf of this group, and there might be something that comes back to us out of that. More right. 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 It could be. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I'll take a stab at this. Um, I move that the Project Redevelopment Board grant a special permit to Alloit Realty LLC uh, with respect to EDR docket number 3476, subject to the general conditions that appear with all of our special permits and the following special conditions. One, a drainage and water management plan shall be reviewed and approved by the town engineer. Uh, two, a revised landscaping plan shall be submitted to the Director of Planning for her review and approval consistent with the discussion tonight. Three, uh, the lead checklist submitted for the project shall be reviewed by the Director of Planning for her review and approval consistent with tonight's discussion. And four, the applicant will submit a color palette and sample of building material for the board's review and approval. Or to the director of planning. The director of planning. I amend that to the read to the director of planning. With the same phrase you used. Yeah. Consistent with the, with the discussion tonight. Do we need to reference the the plan? The plans. Um, they would be. Oh, can I give you one that's dated 16th February? Yeah. Is that all good? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can give you all ours. 
I'll make you more. Oh, yeah. not this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move it up. Is that the, uh, the list of the materials What's that? considered as part of the application? Okay, good. So, so it would be part of it. Yeah. Okay, but that's the right one. Use. Okay. Three or four pages. Oh, but that's worth okay. mentioning. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah. The full okay. thing read, okay. read so down. Okay, updated set. That's yeah. full people. Yeah, so it's that one right there. Yeah. All right, so, yeah. I'm going to take this for the... And no, it's the lighting. And okay. the lighting. Good. Is that dated the 18th of February? On the top? Top right? 16th. Oh, did I get the wrong one? That was super easy. 16, that's what I meant. Okay, that's what I thought you said. But <laughs> now's the time to be sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nasty, yes, yes. Um, I second. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. 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 It's a nice party. Thank, Thank you very much. Right. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be a great yeah. 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 I think it's great. Too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, Especially the design. I live at 26 in those those awful apartments right in the back, kind of away from the road. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> My post college uh, days. At 26 in in Cambridge. The more modern ones. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Brick and concrete. Yep. <laughs> Why an opportunity to buy one for twenty thousand dollars? Yeah. Twenty years ago. That would have been a good idea. Yeah, would have been a good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Good luck. Have a good night. We'll serve it well. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. It's going to be nice to have a little more. Um, yeah. There's been like a gap tooth there. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I actually think it's a little building. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, the material is interesting. This is all about the buy house. Yeah. Want to keep that? No, this is yours. Okay. Uh, but you'll bring in with the samples, you'll want to bring in whatever you want to bring in. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Master plan, town meeting preparation, etc. cetera. Uh, Carol. So we have a warrant article that I distributed along with a draft resolution. Uh, the warrant article, I'm just going to take a minute to put away if it was just concluded. Bear with me, please. So I distributed some um, draft language to the resolution. The warrant the article itself is to see if the town will accept, receive, or resolve to endorse the master plan adopted by the Arlington Redevelopment Board or take any action related thereto. So, re accept, receive, or resolve to endorse. Those are different actions that town meeting could take. This resolution language proposes that the action would be a resolution. There are different conventions. I'm, I'm, I'm going to lean a little bit on Mike here, town meeting member. There are different conventions for how, uh, for the type of presentation and the duration that uh, the presentation gets to be based on whether a report is accepted or simply received or whether the warrant article, whether the action is a resolution. The intention here is that the consultant, Judy Barrett from RKG Associates, and the co-chairs and the redevelopment board would, this is now the redevelopment board's plan. Uh, the redevelopment board adopted the plan, the master plan, it's now town policy. So this, this is really your warrant article. But because the, we have the co-chairs at your disposal as well as the master plan consultant to answer any questions, um, it's not um, an action where the, um, where the body would be asked to um, approve for a second time. The point of this is that 
So many of the implementation steps have to go to town meeting. Mm -hmm. So many things on this shopping list, on this agenda for future action, would take town, many visits back to town meeting. So for that reason, this is like opening the, um, it's a prelude to, to future action. So that's why this is um, formed as a resolution. Uh, we could, I could read the, I don't know if you want me to walk through the whole thing, you've probably read it yourselves. So I think the first question is, does the board agree that the resolution is the right action? That's the first item. So if I can just talk about your first point, which is, you know, different times for what mm -hmm. you do and everything else. Because we've done this as a true Warren article, I don't think it matters whether we do the accept, receive, or um, resolve to endorse um, yeah, Matt, yeah. right now because it is, unless, unless we were to go no action on this article and then, you know, just present it as a report mm -hmm. under mm -hmm. Article mm -hmm. 3, at that point then there wouldn't be any debate. It would just be, is it received or not received? So, um, and you could present it. You could still present it, but there wouldn't be any any debate or talk. So I think that's why we kind of made the initial move to doing it as a warrant article. That's right. Versus that, because along the way, we've always been talking about town meetings, endorsement of the work that the um, uh, Master Plan Advisory Committee has done. So um, so I think from, from that perspective, personally, I think the resolution is probably the best vehicle uh, for what it is that we're going to try to do because everyone will be scratching their heads on, well, if we're just receiving a report, why aren't we doing it under Article 3? Why, why are we doing this? So, so I do think this is probably the best way to approach it. So that's just from my town meeting experience. That's helpful. Which you guys have had as much as I have. So. And the committee, uh, Master Plan Advisory Committee, did think long and hard about whether it would be just simply a report received. And they really thought that it would, um, it was right to uh, allow town meeting some discussion mm -hmm. to make sure that town meeting members were fully familiar with what master plan is and is not. Mm -hmm. So with this resolution, there can be debate. Or yes, people can, okay. Um, but, and changes within the scope. Okay. Changes to the, the vote, not to the plan. Correct. That's a, that's right. absolutely just to put correct. A little point. Yes. <laughs> no. Thank you. Uh, that well, is correct. And, and that is important. I think that's something that we probably, you know, in presenting the resolution, need to, you know, uh, uh, spell out that it's um, what town meeting is doing is endorsing the act of the board in adopting the plan and the work of the volunteers and so on. And um, there's a lot in the plan and, and we're not, you know, asking the town, this is, uh, the town meeting to uh, endorse every single aspect of the plan. It's sort of the action of the board and thumbs up or thumbs down in, in, in adopting it. Is that? I think that's right. right. I, I, think, I think it really needs a lot of you know, what we talked about after the hearing when, you know, when we said, geez, we're, we've been dealing with this for so long, for the past two years, that we forgot to really explain mm -hmm. the basics of the master plan, you know, what it is, who approves it, what that means. And, you know, I, I think that that's going to be vital. And maybe we can tweak some language in here to help with that but I think really that's more going to be part of the presentation more it is oh I agree the, the and I think the text is fine I, yeah. I think it's uh, just how does the presentation work are you going to put slides up and go through these bullet points I think we can have a few slides I uh, my feeling is that we don't want to make too much out of a powerpoint I think I it mm. would be better to have some real eye contact from the, um, you know, the, I, I believe that the way this works is the board would, um, would get up first and then introduce 
uh, Judy Barrett and ask the um, co-chairs of the Master Plan Advisory Committee to help explain it a little bit. With that, I think you really have some freedom there and, and how to um, choreograph that presentation. Uh, I think you don't want to run the risk of having people's eyes glaze over and a PowerPoint can sometimes miss the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just right. want to make sure they understand what it is. And this pretty explains it pretty well, like bullet point. What is it? It's it's not a resolution of of, of any of these recommendations. It's, it's recommendations, right? But you have to explain that it's a, our path, or our agenda. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I think all this stuff about how it was produced is great. I, I think this is a great summary, actually. But is there a way to, before it goes off into six different people, uh, you, to, to, what, what's this? How, why am I even looking at this? And I heard some of the comments. We're going to do a little Should bit be, of groundwork. Maybe all of these bullet I, points are up on the wall. Just one slide. One slide. I, yeah, I actually think that it's... So are you... There's no thought... How's the master plan being distributed these right. days? It's on the website. It's Is, on the website. We're actually doing... There were some... Um, a set of conditions or changes, I should say, that the board adopted with the plan, yeah. those are going to be um, actually incorporated into the document tomorrow. Okay. Because of some snowstorms that was postponed. Right. Um, then there is a seven page summary that is almost finished that will be distributed, that will be mailed to all town meeting members. And, and that's okay. It will also be on the website and it will be used as a handout. Uh, when we do four info sessions for town meeting members and the pub general public, but it's really intended that uh, it's intended as an opportunity for town meeting members who want to get familiar before, before town, town meeting. Yeah. Is there an explanation, is there an introduction on the master plan itself and the adoption of it by the uh, redevelopment board in, in that, that handout, yeah. as well as the fact that, you know, the master plan does not... Um, uh, there's a call-out box on what it is not. Yeah. It's a, uh, that statement I believe I mentioned to the board for, that we borrowed from another town. Yeah, um, yeah. That I thought was a pretty good um, explanation of what a master plan isn't. Yeah. So that it will, I, I hope, um, allay some concerns, um, legitimate concerns about, well, do we just give you carte spend blanche it. to yeah. spend funds? No, right. that's not what this is. So... There, that's in, I think, the first paragraph. Okay. Um, it's too bad I didn't bring a, it's still in draft form, so it's not a finished piece, but I'd be happy to distribute the draft to the board if you want to see that. I can get that to you tomorrow morning. So What's that going idea. to print? I'd like it to go to print this week. Okay. The first session is March 10th at the Dallin, so we'd like to have that ready okay. for, mm -hmm. um, to, to hand out. I mean, in light of that, maybe you don't put anything up on the wall. Yeah, I, I think you got to be a little bit careful in having um, Judy present at the right, meeting very because I, I, I'm not sure that's the right thing mm -hmm. See, because it could get very detailed very quickly. And, and frankly, for no other reason than you have seven minutes. Yes. And I don't know that we're you know, really want to say, okay, this is going to be a half hour or whatever else. I mean, maybe maybe we do, but we better plan that out pretty well. Um, you know, I think I think you should use your seven minutes wisely and maybe ask for 15, but even then, it's not the type of thing where you, you want to offer it up as ask anything about this thing. Yeah, it's an interesting sort of um, middle ground that you have to walk. You have to feel like you're giving people enough information yes. about the plan, right? So they, they, they don't feel like, well, what is it I'm voting on? But at the same point, you know, because, you know, once you begin, if people begin to get into this topic by topic, right. it's, the debate will go on for night yes. after night after night. <clears throat> um, and, um, it, and I think, again, you know, this is a, a preliminary type of, of table setting type of document, mm -hmm. which is eventually going to lead to many more specific 
proposals over the years that don't have a chance to discuss, debate, et cetera, in, in, in a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the challenge. It's to give, to, to flesh it out so people understand what it is, but at the same point, um, not encourage, you know, the sort of by delving into the minutia of it. Right. right. Um, do you have, on the, and I guess we'll see it, but um, on the, the seven pager that you're putting together summary, um, do you have like right up at the top where the full master plan can be found? I'd put that like. If yeah. it's not on the cover, we can put the URL on the cover. I, I'd put it somewhere yeah. like very easy to find. Very easy to find <laughs> and with a pretty easy URL. Because I think that's, you know, how you really gonna wanna articulate. It's like, look, it's, it's a big honking document. Yeah. <laughs> this is a seven page or go here. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it'll probably, probably be arlingtonma.gov slash planning and we'll have a link to it on that page. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get it as high up as you can. I think that the um, a good part of the seven minutes should be really focused on the resolution. What is the resolution? Um, what are we asking town meeting to resolve? Um, the, the endorsement is to. Yeah, I, I think sorry, but but I think that what you do nicely in here is talk about what you've done, the work that was put into it, and I think that's how you use your time. Right. You know, you say this is the work that was done. This is this is the group that did it. Have them up up in the balcony and point, you know, and yeah. and say and, and hundreds of people were interviewed and to kind of say, you know, the process existed. And it right. was well publicized, and, and well it was attended. well attended. You know, and it was inclusive. Yeah, it was inclusive, and that's that. Was, those are the real important things to talk about. I think you got it really well. Oh, I, I think so. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's almost like a summary of this. Mm -hmm. These are the points you want to hit. Yeah, the only paragraph I might play with a little bit is the first now therefore, and you know, flip some things around. I'd, I'd commend people first. I'd commend the um, impact. Um, right off the, uh, you know, commends uh, Master Plan Advisory Committee, uh, uh, the work of the Master Plan Advisory Committee, and many volunteers, residents, and professional staff members, and considering, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I'd actually move the endorsement after the commendation mm -hmm. um, and endorses um, um, the action of the redevelopment board in adopting the plan or something Say like that. Say that again. That, it, that what, what, what I mean, I'm not, um, I think. I like the notion of commending folks mm -hmm. from the get-go versus... Um, oh, I see. So commend and then put their endorsement, endorsement at the end. Yeah. And I'd commend, the first people I would commend is the Master Plan Advisory Committee. Uh, and commends the work of the Master Plan Advisory Committee and the many, I guess, other volunteers. Mm -hmm. Residents and professional staff members considering the current state of our town and mapping out a series of recent steps. Uh, and then you can say, and endorses. Or you could make it a separate be for the resolved. Yeah, or you would like to keep it in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I understand. <laughs> um, and endorses. Um, uh, you could say the action of the redevelopment board, or you could say the adoption of the. Um, uh, I guess the action of a redevelopment board in, in adopting, adopting the master plan. Yeah. Let's sort of end that uh, and, paragraph, and, right? In adopting the master plan, period. The Arlington master. The plan. Arlington master plan. And then, the only other thing we could think about doing there. Is no, I think that's. What I was gonna say master plan as the, you know, kind of describe the master plan within the the endorsement. Um, nah, I think that's fine. Good 
change? The outline, the master plan is findings. It's existing conditions um, uh, outline of issues and then recommendations in each of the areas. Implementation steps and appendices. In the area where, uh, whereas community meetings and then the next one where is extensive work. And in, in there, if we could somehow get just the highest level reflection of analysis. Yeah, because well, I, I wanted to say it involved in hundreds of hours, it reflects the town's mm -hmm. input somehow. I don't know how to say that. Right whereas now. this input reflects. Um, and then somehow. Since it worked really performing the baseline of current challenges, that, that somehow we could reference those those main areas of the of the master plan in this verbiage somehow. So well, that's in the next paragraph. Detail had been okay. So detailed recommendations to you, that one. Right. But you didn't. You have to say findings first, right, or whatever. It's what, what's the first called? Existing condition. Since we're towards performing baseline analysis of existing conditions and current challenges. Maybe you just throw that, just so they know, a big part of this was determining what is Arlington, what do we have, what does the community want, to, to, to go to the point of a very extensive understanding of our town, spent a lot of time on that, the first third of the process, right? Right. So, wish I could get that in there somewhere so people, it kind of reinforces that. To elaborate on that, it could just in be that a word, just a word or two. Um, community meetings are uh, kind of direct involvement to determine to re determine existing condition and understand towns to do, you know desires or something like that. I don't know if that's not the right wording. Um, the community's desires is um, that's that's it's important. Dangerous. Maybe dangerous, but that's what we were after, right? We were trying to <coughs> mm -hmm. find out what we have and then have the town say, this is important, that's not important, all that kind of stuff. A baseline announcement career. And then we went, then the current challenges. Is, so the way the master plan is laid out is, right, it's existing conditions, key issues, challenges, and then potential resolutions. What do we call it? Recommendations. Yeah. So, just so are you saying, whereas extensive work was devoted to um, documenting uh, current uh, uh, or existing, uh, documenting existing conditions, comma, performing baseline analysis or analyses of the current challenges, um, or comma, as well as uh, performing baseline analyses of the current challenges and changes facing Arlington? Is that, can, can you do it there? But I was trying to do it uh, in the outreach one. See, because, no, no, you're right, it could go there. Whereas it's extensive it. work was devoted to um, documenting. Yes, yes. Existing conditions. Yes. Existing conditions. Yes. Right. right. Performing, performing baseline based, analysis. Performing baseline analyses, I would actually say. Yeah. And then, and then I would say, and then defining current challenges or, or, or eliciting current Performing baseline analysis of current challenges. It's kind of baseline analyses of current challenges. Well, I think I think it's not. I think if you take out the the, it actually flows a little bit better. Okay. Baseline mm -hmm. analyses of current okay. challenges yeah, yeah, yeah. and changes okay. facing Ireland. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think if you take so out the the, yeah, it's actually it. pretty good. Just a word here and there. I, and then on the next one, I actually think in these two paragraphs, I guess. I wouldn't mind loosening them up a little bit. Right now you've got, whereas detailed recommendations have been developed around seven policy areas. To me that begs for getting into the details, frankly. Just see, just so see, 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 I would get rid of detailed, but my question is, is are they called recommendations? They're not guidelines? They're called recommendations. They're called recommendations. Okay, we have been developed. Okay, so I'd get rid of the word, word detailed. And then on the next, Whereas these recommendations have been expressed 
in a multi-year implementation plan consisting of more than 85. So I think on this one, we need to think about this a little bit because um, consisting of more than 85 specific have to be considered by various town boards, committees, uh, you almost want to say committees, professional staff, and of course, town meeting. Yeah. You know, it's like it all it needs a. That's it, a good point. Well, it we'll needs a, an ultimate, you know, and ultimately theory. town meeting. Maybe yeah. that's it. Ultimately. it and ultimately town meeting. Mm -hmm. See what's what's good. And, what's and good I is, guess is it, it, by putting in, I think you put in existing conditions or something in this one. Yep. So that if you actually wanted to yellow it, you'd say existing conditions, recommendations, implementation. So in there. You would have gotten the, so the process. subtly, process. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and so when you talk about it, you can say, yeah. Yeah. ultimately. So, so in, just try this on for size. So, whereas these recommendations have been expressed in a multi-year implementation plan consisting of, I would actually consider, and I know it's to show all the hard work that everybody did, and I think it's great that they did it, but I would delete more than 85 specific, and I would say, Whereas these recommendations have been expressed in a multi-year implementation plan consisting of actions to be considered by various town boards, committees, professional staff, and, comma, ultimately, town meeting. So delete mm -hmm. more than 85 specific. Delete that. Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, I would. Because once again, the you're, you're just kind of begging for the weeds. Yeah. 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 You're just I, begging I for the weeds. Why not 86? Why so not 84? So you would just yeah. add the word ultimately before town meeting. Comma, well. ultimately. Yeah. That's very good. That's like taking out. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I wonder, um, not to, uh, just as a quick aside, it might be a good idea if there was a member of the board who was willing to communicate with the co-chairs going forward. If we have an opportunity for co-chairs to be on a future agenda with the board, possibly even next week, um, to discuss a little further about um, the presentation and how um, you see that working. Um, another thought would be to, if, if someone's willing to do that as a delegate <laughs> with the chair and coach. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do it next week it with the hearing. hearing. Yeah, yeah so and I think that's hearing. not yeah. when you want to do a, a discussion of yes. the presentation. So anyway, just bear that in mind. We don't. We can discuss this point, whether to delegate or to discuss with the committee, uh, as planning advisory committee. I think you can talk about that next week. But just be thinking about. How yeah. How you might. I think we want usually. To coordinate with them. I mean, our typical way of handling the articles is to. Do any meeny miny mo around the right, right. around the uh, around the table and, mm -hmm. and and choose. I mean that's that's been the usual. You know, but, but Carol, what the chairman would want to do. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do the discussion. Or this, yeah. I'll definitely have you a do, role in that discussion. But do the ten minutes. Some the member of the board, probably the chair, will um, introduce this yeah. and then kind of Introduce probably it. do a handoff to I mean, the, the co-chairs and you're the, the heart and soul of the director of planning who's you know who's made the connection between the board and the, and the, the advisory committee and, and the, you know I would want personally I would want you speaking about it I'm happy to speak yeah, about it but uh, I think that the, the co-chairs of the master plan advisory committee will probably just want to know how, how involved that how, how involved and, mm -hmm. and yep. who goes first and second just the mm -hmm. kind of the mundane choreography yeah. of that yeah i think that's true yeah before we leave the uh, resolution i just noticed on the last whereas before you get to the now therefore it's just where ah, so, <laughs> thank you. yeah good eye um Okay. Um, be, maybe, sorry, I keep on bringing things up, but be it further resolved, the last be it further resolved, that town meeting looks forward to active participation 
and the continued open process, incorporating ongoing public participation as an implementation of the master plan proceed. Um, I wonder whether we should put um, um, active participation. It's almost like, should we put in that whereas clause consideration of the specific, kind of go back to what we set up here, which is that there are specific actions that will ultimately need to come to town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, that town, uh, the yeah. town meeting looks forward to active participation on a continuing um, uh, as the uh, implementation of the master plan. Ongoing going part public participation, period, comma, and town meeting consideration and, yeah. of implementation of, as the master plan. Right, he, as well as a continued open process incorporating. I think if you did that, yeah. right? So you say that town meeting looks forward to active participation and consideration of, what do we call them up here, specific actions. To be taken, comma, as well as a continued open process incorporating ongoing public participation. As the implementation of the master plan proceeds. Yeah. Okay, so inserting after and and before A, the phrase consideration of specific actions to be taken, comma, as well as. Right, and taking out, right. And that's right. I don't think you're. And you, you don't need the and, or the and goes before the consideration, so yeah. Which and? Sorry, you said you put that right in between the and and the uh? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. And this is a really small point. But just on the wordsmithing, I would go with continuing instead of continued. I just think it's sending a, it's more of a subtle <laughs> message that this, this well, is. Well, if you do that, then it's uh, as well as uh, continuing the open process. I think it's the. Continuing the open process. Continuing the open process, if you're going to use continuing, I think. No. <laughs> or are you saying as well as the continuing open process? I think so it's going to say as well as. as the con I would say continuing the open process. Consideration of specific actions taken as well as oh, continuing the. Uh, we can say a continuing open process, can't you? A continuing open process. I think right. that's sort of. Uh, I think that's right. As well as a continuing open process, a continuing open process incorporating the, the continuing. Uh, well, I mean, that, we're, we're getting to. Yeah. It's not that important, so I'll, I'll just let it go. How it, how it is. I think I think if you just said, as well as continuing the open process in court, I think if you just put the, I like that better. Just, continuing think, the open process. Yeah. And incorporating ongoing public participation. Yes. Sure. Continuing the open process. And incorporating ongoing public participation. And incorporating. Okay. okay. Good. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like you want to put all of the, you know, you want to make sure that you just process, keep saying process. to them, it's, it's yours. Yeah. Ultimately, it's yours. We're going to have yes. to bring things to you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing we're going to need to stress again. So we have these sessions um, for town meeting members and the public. Oh, yeah, um, and like to have you thinking about whether um, you would be willing to attend one or more of these two. So give it some thought. Um, if you think you're ready to commit, <laughs> let me know. I'll, I'll pencil you in. It's um, These are all evenings, 7 o'clock. And if you want, uh, you, you know, give me a call or you shoot me an email if you're interested or you want to find out more about what this would entail. I think the um, the committee and staff would be doing a lot of, you know, address, addressing some specific questions uh, after a brief, brief presentation and kind of going through the 
some selective recommendations and addressing what the process was, what the plan is, what's going to unfold moving forward. Mm -hmm. So I think the board's role would be to talk more about what the board's role was and is. Um, you're the planning board. You'll be doing more planning going forward. You'll be doing more analysis. You'll be doing more area planning uh, with, with the staff. You will be interacting with an uh, implementation committee. I would be, I, I expect that there will be some members of the Master Plan Advisory Committee who will be interested in serving on the implementation committee. So give it some thought if um, you would, please. Let me know. Okay. Yeah, Minutes. I have one comment on page two, second paragraph, uh, second line, the sentence that begins, the board can see. Uh, I think that we just need the word that. The board can see that the signs are helpful to bring in customers. Did you say this is page two? Um, yeah, yes. mm -hmm. it's a big paragraph, second one. Second okay, the board can see this. that the signs. Okay. okay. Otherwise, excellent. Yeah. yeah. I actually, I thought these were great. I actually read through them and thought they were fine. Pass along. Yeah, I think so you're doing a great job. And great job. You're doing well. I mean, thank you too. So. No, all set. All set. I'll move to approve the uh, minutes of the February fourth, two thousand fifteen. As amended. As amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Who seconded? Sorry. I did. Aye. So, okay. Do we know? Talk about the sheet if it's on the agenda. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the lease. Okay. Carol, can we talk about the Central School in 23 Maple yes. Street? Yes. That's okay. Let me see if I can pull that out. That is the uh, new business then, right? Mm -hmm. just the way our RFP was um, put together, but um, do we not ask for security deposits? We haven't. Um, I don't think that's ever come up, but it's a reasonable question, and there's nothing to prevent you from asking for a security deposit. Uh, in this instance, two of the occupants would be new tenants who have never paid rent before. So, I can see the wisdom of it. Mm -hmm. I think that was the only question that I had. Um, my only questions were, so did they do their own measurements and came up with 253 square feet? For One of the tenants uh, did measure the space and came up with uh, something different than what we had from our old plants, then we had staff measured again and they came up with a third okay. dimension, so we would like to go with uh, our building craftsman's dimensions. Which is the 253 or, uh, or is that the 263? 263, 263, 263, 263, that's right. Okay. Um, I guess the only other question I had is, is so MRWA, the Mr. River watershed came back, and they came back with one and a half, with two year uh, option. I mean, one and a half years just isn't that long. Is the thought that they don't really 
they're, they're looking they're going to be looking to get out of there I mean what's what was what's the behind yeah what was behind the one and a half years because I mean frankly the one and a half years doesn't really yeah it's not much of a, of yeah, a lease commitment. I think it's more that they in their experience here have not paid rent before and they want to make sure that they don't lock themselves into something they couldn't maintain mm -hmm. okay. frankly so they probably want to stay longer if they yes they would like to stay they definitely would like to stay I think they want to since they don't have a real experience as an organization paying rent, they wanted to be a little conservative in uh, make, making a commitment. And the option is theirs, not ours. Uh, we don't usually make the leases at the tenant, the, well, we don't usually make extensions at the tenant's option, but here again, that's you what could. they asked. Well, no, I'm just wondering what they what they mean by with two year optional extension. It was just whose option is it? Uh, you know, I'll look for that to I, see how it's phrased. I, I think it's phrased the way our extensions are typically phrased. But oh, okay, I'll get so that. So they to just you. okay. So I see. Yeah. So they just took the. So I see. In, in the lease, um, the model lease, um, the town. The ARB gives notice to the tenant a year mm -hmm. before the term ends. Okay. And then the tenant has the right to accept or reject it for two or three months after the notice is given, I believe. Okay. By the end of September, I think they have to say, okay, yes, we will sign up for another two years. Okay. Okay, so um, NFI, they've, they're looking for the five-year extension, so they're looking for 10 total. If it all if all goes well, it, does staff have any issues with the thought of of a ten year uh, commitment? Uh, I would like for the extensions to be consistent with the three tenants. Oh well, I would like we um, it was an oversight when the RFP was prepared. One of the RFPs had two year extensions. One had something different. Uh, I just would like to with the exception of Mr. River Watershed Association, unless they want the longer extension, I would like for both of the other leases to have the same extension. Five years may be more than you want to commit to. I think what we have in the model lease is two. So you're gonna scale, you're gonna, you're gonna seek to scale NFI back to a two year option? I don't think it's that important. Um, one of the recommendations in the master plan is for the town to do a space needs analysis. And there's another recommendation that's, um, the gist of it is we shouldn't be hanging on to property we don't use and don't need. The fact is we get a good rent from that building. And that subsidizes other buildings that house um, multiple town <coughs> and community functions. Okay. Now. When I say community, I don't mean nonprofit organization necessarily, but uh, Community meetings, community, uh, volunteer and um, statutory board and committee meetings are, um, it, that's an important locus for those meetings, same with Jefferson Cutter House. So there's also a very strong argument to be made to, to hold on to 22 Maple Street as long as we can. The point is we, we, since we are proposing that we look at our space needs, we might not want to be locked in for a long, long time, but at the same time, we are borrowing to repair that building. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we want to. I think yeah. we want to hold on to it long enough to uh, pay back the borrowing. So I, to conclude, I think that a five-year five I and five a sounds huge okay. Issue. I think yeah. so. five and five. Yeah, especially with the borrowing, I think that's actually a really good point. And we do have lots of experience, years and years of experience with this tenant, which is so that yeah. they. If passed this prologue, I think there's some stability we can expect. Okay. And and so you're comfortable with the uh, Mystic River being one and a half years? Um, I mean, I guess. It's not much. Um, it's not that big of the, the, the objective really was to start, was to bring these spaces under procurement law to get some revenue, which we would get. Mm -hmm. If they decided, oh gee, we really can't make this up, yeah. then I even think that w it would be a painful parting, yeah. but if they 
and the board felt like we need to use that space for revenue and we will work with you while you relocate that kind of if, if that was the direction that went assuming mr griffer at that point realized they, they couldn't afford the rent there are I, I think it's a space that could be attractive to other organizations uh, i think you would be able to get a tenant for it okay. mm -hmm. um, i hope that doesn't come to pass but Mm -hmm. When you're considering all these are all what ifs. Yeah. So, but they they realize they're gonna have to take up that two year option within six months. I mean, it's a it's a no, pretty no, it's no, a pretty no. uh, it's a short it's a window. It's a short window for them to figure it out, yeah. but that's uh, fine. I mean, I guess. Yeah. So I guess I'll in the end, I'll be happy it's, to have a little dialogue with them about whether they realize that it's a six month trial. Well, I, yeah. I shouldn't say trial, but it really is. They're. They're they trying gotta, to explore whether in six months the exploration to needs to be done at least for three and a half years. You know? might want to consider three years with a two year option. Yeah. I think that's sort of a little more. But, you know, I'll be happy not, to present that to them. Yeah. Three it just seems ago. really quick. Three years with a single two-year option or two two. Well, I mean, we could do two two-year options too, but I, I think the main focus should be on what the initial term is. Yeah. Um, and as Mike says, it, it it it's a short window for them to determine whether or not they wanted to exercise that that option. Um, and the problem is procurement to a large degree, right? I mean, because you're just going to have to yeah you know, turn, around, turn around and yeah. pro, you know yeah. do the procurement want right away. Yeah. We put this, these um, RFPs on the state register. I think if they really, you know, worst comes worst, they, they, they can't stay. We'd have to do a, a broader um, outreach. Right, exactly. Because we only got a single applicant. Yeah, because you didn't, for you didn't really. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, those were my <coughs> comments on it. I just okay. think that one was just a little, a little short. Good points. Okay, let me look into that with um, Mr. River Watershed Association. Was that the only thing? That's to all I have. Okay. That sounds great. Good. Anything else? Anything? I'll move to adjourn. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.